Hey guys, are you looking to add a little bit of style to the front of your ride? Maybe add some visibility on the trail? Look no further than T-Rex Grills Torch Series Grills. Stay tuned to learn more. All right guys, so with the Torch Series Grill by T-Rex Grills here on the table, we're gonna be installing this on a 2015 F-150 XLT. And with that said, let's go and get this unboxed and show you what comes in the packaging. All right guys, so we have everything laid out on the table here as you can see. Let's talk about some of the things you're gonna need such as the tools, the components that come included, and the grills themselves. So up first, we have the bumper grill. This is gonna go in the lower bumper area as you can see here with the space for it, so that's where that's gonna go. We have the primary grill here. This is gonna replace the OE grill that you see there. And this is the X metal. It's their stealth metal edition, which means everything's gonna be blacked out, which is gonna give our truck that more aggressive look that we're going for. This is also the torch series, which means the LED light bar is included. As you can see, both of these actually have the LEDs included because they're the torch series. Um, with that said, let's talk about some of the components that are gonna come included. So you have your install instructions, of course. Make sure you consult those. Before you do your installation, this is very application specific, so you may need some additional tools that we don't need for this install. So consult those before you get started. All right, so you have your mounting and other hardware as well that's included. Make sure all that's in there. You don't wanna get halfway through your install and realize you're missing a piece. So make sure that that's all there before you get started. So next thing we're gonna need, and this is the kind of the tools department, we have some masking tape. And the masking tape is gonna protect your paint and other surfaces from scratches that you may incur from the installation. So make sure you use your masking tape uh, wisely. Make sure that you use that to protect your truck during the install. All right, so some of the other install uh, tools you're gonna to need. We have a ratchet, we have a 10, an eight, and a seven millimeter socket. We have a T40 Torx bit. We have a Phillips and a flathead screwdriver. We have a clip remover and a pry tool. Use a plastic pry tool because if you use a metal pry tool, you may uh, create some scratches as well. Plastic is much more prone or not prone to scratches like a metal surface would be. All right guys, so we got all the clips removed and now we're gonna remove the plastic shroud and move on to the next part of the installation. All right guys, the so next step is we're gonna take our seven millimeter socket and wrench and we're gonna take off the bezel that's gonna go around the headlight. So in our application, there's just two right here we gotta hit and then we'll take those out and get to the next part. All right, so next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take this eight, eight millimeter socket and remove this bolt on both sides of the truck. So go ahead and get this taken out. And then there's gonna be a little rubber piece up here. We're gonna use our clip remover tool to take those clips out. And then with that done, we'll move on to the next part. All right, with those four bolts removed, let's move on to removing these electrical connectors. So we're just gonna pinch. There's gonna be a little connector, a little pin you pull back, removes easy. Same with this one, pinch and pull. That's all there is to it. All right guys, so we have the grill off the truck now, as you can see, and we have it here on the table now. We have the full assembly, what we're gonna do though is remove the assembly, the, the OE grill from the assembly and then put on our custom grill onto the assembly and then reinstall it. Before we do that though, there's gonna be several bolts and pins we're gonna have to pull out to do that. Uh, but with that said, and with that done, we're gonna get this back on the truck. All right guys, so now that we have the original grill removed from the shutter, what we're gonna do is prep up the, the T-Rex grill here to go onto the shutter. So we're gonna put the brackets around the edges, as you can see, so follow us along and we'll get this taken care of. All right, so we have our stealth black grill now uh, assembled with the shutters, as you can see, it's all here on the table. What we're gonna do now is use the provided hardware. We have a washer and a nut and all the points that we took them off of earlier, we're gonna be reinstalling. So get them started, tighten them down. And then once you have them all uh, tightened down, we can then begin to reinstall this back on the truck. All 
All right, so now that we have the shutters attached to the grill, what we're gonna do is go and get this installed back on the truck, make sure that the head, or that the grill is aligned with the hood and everything is in place as it needs to be. Before you do that though, what we recommend is that you route this, you route the wires through the bottom so that it's easily accessible later in the installation. If you do, if you do want to do your own wiring, um, T-Rex actually offers their own wiring harness that you can buy. It's a separate part number that you can purchase. However, if you do have a custom or if you want to do your own switches, that's available too as well, which is what we're doing here. So do your own custom switches if you want or purchase their wiring harness if you want. Uh, just make sure that this is routed through the bottom so it's easily accessible. All right, with that said, let's get this on the truck and tighten down. All right guys, so what we have here is the lower bumper grill. And what I've done, I've gone ahead and used this little L-clamp here. And what we're gonna have to do is run the screw through the top, through the grill, uh, through the mesh there, and get it started. And then, as you can see these little L's on top, you're gonna feed this through, sort of like that, wedge it in, and then place this. Uh, there's gonna be a little lip that you're gonna place this next to, tighten it in, and it's gonna be able to clamp it down. All right, guys, so we have both the main grill and the bumper grill installed now. As you can see, they really do look great, and they give our truck that really mean look that we're going for. Uh, so with that said, and with you having an idea of what they look like, let's take a look at what the lights can produce now. All right, guys, so you followed us through the whole installation, and as you can see the product, the end result looks fantastic. And we couldn't be happier with the way that it turned out. If you want more details on this product, please check the description below. We'll have all that laid out for you there, as well as a part number and a dealer locator so you can find this product at a dealer near you. Thank you again for tuning in. This has been Total Truck Centers in the Garage.